Tech 1212. My name is Daryl Homer, I'm from New York City, and I train at the Manhattan Fencing Center. I think everyone thinks that fencing matches, people are snapping and, you know, and being really quiet. No, people are loud, people are yelling, people are screaming from the audience, people are booing referees sometimes, like, it's very interactive. It's definitely an etiquette to the sport. After you get off the strip, you shake hands and you're cool, but on the strip, anything goes. Competitions are direct elimination. You fence, 32 people lose, out. Another 16 people lose, out in the next round. Another eight people lose, out. So if you lose once, you're out. For as fast as the touches are, I know I'm fencing well when everything feels slower, right? If I feel like everything's super fast and out of control, I know the match is not going well. The beautiful thing about a combat sport is there really is no destined winner to whoever shows up in that day, right? So you can have the ranking, you can have whatever you want, but at the end of the day, it's like who shows up in that day that's gonna be victorious. If I beat you every day of your life for five years and you went home and told your mom and dad you had to fence me tomorrow at the Olympics, what would they say? They'd say one time is all that counts. This is one day that decides for a lot of people their life.